So I think the DOD is going to achieve a number of benefits. Hopefully, not the least of them is uh, savings, real, real world IT savings, reducing the spend. Uh, but uh, perhaps just as important is an increase in agility, the fact that we can react quickly to changing operational requirements, that we, we can get software developed and fielded more quickly, that we can acquire new capabilities more quickly, um, that as security threats emerge, we can react to those. And these are benefits of the cloud that I don't think most people realize are really uh, first order benefits. Um, we're exploring continuous integration and continuous deployment where software Every time it's uh, written, it's automatically compiled, tested, and potentially pushed to the cloud. And uh, you know, many of the most successful IT providers in the commercial world are doing this today. Uh, Netflix, I'm a big Netflix user okay. at home, and one of the reasons that I admire them from an IT point of view is they've adopted this model of continuous integration, continuous deployment, and DevOps. So anytime a developer checks in their code, it's compiled, it's tested, and if it meets all the quality and conformance controls, it's pushed to the operational network. It scales. If a fault is detected, they remove it and they go back to the older version. So they're able to leverage cloud economics in ways that we really can't yet in the DoD from a security point of view. So let's say I have a system that's penetrated. Mm -hmm. Using the cloud and the ability to stand up new images on demand or pristine images, I can basically bring a gold image back up online. I can patch the security problem that I was seeing, and then I can take that uh, compromised image and pull it offline and do forensics uh, in non-real time to find out what happened. So there are huge benefits here that we're going to be able to exploit going forward. Yeah.